How's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here and guess what? The monsoon rains are officially here. This is gonna be crazy. The rains are coming down, they are coming down. These totes are filling up quick. This is getting pretty exciting. Ah, we need to get this piping done and fast. So it's been raining fairly steadily for about an hour or so. We might get close to an inch of rain, so it should be interesting to see how this all works out. If we do get close to an inch of rain, these totes will probably overflow. It might go into the ditch I'm digging, but we'll see. Look at this so far though. So our middle tote here is almost half full. So far we might have about 75 gallons of water in this tote. And it's, and it's just been raining for a little bit here. It's very exciting. All right, let's go check our end tote. This is our end tote, and we're getting uh, maybe close to a quarter of it full. So very nice. All right, so here I am at the Hacienda tote, and you can see exactly the volume of water that's coming off of these roofs. Now obviously 2,200 square feet over there and 160 square feet over here. As you can see, we're collecting water, but it's maybe maybe about an inch of water sitting at the bottom of this tote, which is not bad, it's something, but we probably got over 100 gallons already between the two totes over on the main roof. This is very exciting. I gotta get my proverbial butt in gear. Oh my goodness. Because once this roof system overflows, it's going to overflow a lot. It's going to be a lot of water coming out of those pipes. It's going to fill up that ditch I dug. I don't know. It might set me back a little bit. Let's see how this goes. I'll keep you informed. Woo! It is getting crazy. Look at that. It is almost full now. Oh my goodness, we might see this thing overflow. If it does, we should see it go into the trench. This might fill up this trench, I don't know. It might be problematic, but it might make things a little easier to dig, we'll see. All right, crazy exciting. This toad is just about full. The other toad is now a half full. And we're gonna see how this goes. This is definitely gonna overflow. So yeah, this tote is definitely full. It's got some air pockets up near the top, which I don't know if it'll push all the air out. So right now, this pipe could be filling up. And when it does, it should overflow out to that other side. Let's go check it out. <laughs> the overflow has started. Had we got the piping in place, this would all start flowing to the main tanks. Right now it's going into our little ditch. Oh well, maybe it'll make digging a little easier. Last night's storm was crazy. It was off the chain. Let me show you what's going on. Now last night we got almost one inch of rain, 
inches. Of course, you know, this tank overflowed. It's like bulging. It was so full. This definitely needs to get sealed because one thing I did notice, water was kind of bubbling out of here. We don't want that. It's amazing, the desert after the rainfall, uh, just the desert comes alive during this time. But check this out. Second first flush tote. You see, you didn't get to see any of this, but this filled up as well. And actually both of these tanks ended up overflowing right into the ditch. It was crazy. But it's kind of a good thing that the ditch was there because it gave some place for the water to overflow at. And even by morning time, all that water that was in there, and there was a lot of water, uh, it's all been soaked into the ground, which is good. But if we get any more subsequent rainfalls before the piping is done, uh, it will be harder for this water to soak in because now that ground is probably saturated. Now that the rains have come and soaked into this ditch, hopefully it should make digging the rest of this a little bit easier. So I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna knock this out, and we need to get that plumbing done ASAP. One more thing to show you. This is what the tank looks like over at the Hacienda. Over here at the first flush tank, the water line is right about here. With an inch of rain, we got just over 50 gallons, but it just show, goes to show you, last night when I was running around uh, filming and catching uh, all the rain action, it was just two different worlds. Being at the front of that roof and over here, we are dealing with a lot of water over there. It filled up both those 150 gallon totes for 300 gallons and we would have had water in those main tanks. This roof with 160 square feet got just over 50 gallons. So definitely a little lesson in just how much that extra space can catch you. So we've had a little bit of rain prior to this, but this was our first decent monsoon rain. Even though we aren't plumbed into the main tanks, this is incredibly exciting because I definitely got to see more of like where we need to improve on this system. But overall, things are looking pretty good. This is very exciting, a very good first test. I can't wait to get the plumbing on this thing finished. It's gonna be very exciting. Stick around. I can't wait to show you guys how this thing works. Get ready for Monsoon 2. Catch you in the next video, everyone. Bye.